Welcome to the Crazy Ad Chemist. Today we're doing another video on periodic trends. So without further delay, BAM! So representative or main group elements, okay? This is that orange staircase line, remember that? Okay, and then these are the representative or the main group elements that I've highlighted here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to fold the periodic table and you'll see that these are the representative or the main group elements. So right here I have a periodic table, hopefully you can see that one. Okay, now in chemistry you don't want to earn what kind of grade? You don't want to fail the class. So, if you remember from a previous section of this unit, we want to get rid of the F block elements. The F block elements are the inner transition metals. So we're going to get rid of the Fs because we don't want to fail chemistry. Okay? What is another grade you don't want to get in chemistry? That's a D. We don't want Ds here in chemistry either. So we're going to get rid of the transition metals and that's in this metal, middle section. So what we want to keep as far as a grade are satisfactory passing grades. Those are the S and the P type orbitals. So S and P type orbitals. These S and P type orbitals are the main group or representative elements. That's the main group of representative elements. You can see them highlighted in the white section on your periodic table on my lecture right here. Why are they the main group or representative elements? They are the main group elements because I have solids, liquids, gases. I have metals. I have nonmetals. I have the metalloids. I have all the basic types of chemistry within this main group of elements. That's why the main group of elements are there. So, remember, to get rid of the Fs, to get rid of the Ds, and then you got your main group elements, which are your satisfactory passing grades, S and P type orbitals. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense for you. Um, if this hat's a missing, I've gone efficient. Give me a thumbs up if you like that video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you for more chemistry next time. Bye now.